we have our electrically actuated flanged stainless steel ball bear. So it's really two components that, that we assemble together. Uh, they come to you as one unit, but there's a flange 316 stainless steel uh, fire safe approved ball valve and an IP67 electric actuator on the top. Now this is we've got the top off this one as we've we've just rigged it up to our um, test rig here to show you it actuating. But with with the lid on, it'll 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 look like this. Now this is just one size. I believe this is probably a 25 mil. But as the valve gets bigger, the torque required gets bigger, so the actuator gets bigger as well. So, although this unit may look like this, you know, you, if the one that you receive, say, if you bought a 100 mil ball valve, the actuator would be much bigger. It'd be a big manual over hand, hand wheel, manual override hand wheel on the side. So all our actuators come with a manual override standard and extra limit switches. Something that a lot of other actuators don't. What the manual override looks like does vary, and this is the, the smallest actuator. It's just a little one here. You see this? You put the spanner on underneath. You can probably see it under here better. It's just got a hex there for the manual override. And one, should, one thing I should mention: this is IP67, but it's only IP67 if you use the correct cable gland. So, uh, one common thing we do see is if there's water in the actuator that they've used the wrong cable gland or haven't even used a cable gland where this is where the electrical will come in where this plug is here it's an M20 cable gland or M20 thread so you want to use the correct approved cable gland in there it's one thing to know now cycle time you are probably about 8 seconds on this one as they get bigger you'll be looking at longer maybe 10 to 12 seconds it can be even longer in the large ones so what we'll do is go ahead and cycle this one so you can see we'll just come around and switch it So you can see this visual indicator is turning, and this will, you can hear, I've still got my finger on that switch, the cam has come down and cut off power to the motor. If I do it the other way, you can see it operate in reverse. So not only can you get a end of stroke or end of turn position off the limit switches, you also see it on the visual indicator where it is. I'll flip this around and you can see that cam turning. You see those cams turn on the shaft? 